corruption bribery complaint has been filed against Kenosha's mayor and former city clerk. Fox 6's Gabrielle Mays joins us live in Kenosha with a breakdown of what's happening. Yeah, so the complaint says a group with ties to Facebook's CEO had too much influence in the voting process in Kenosha during the 2020 presidential election. It's not about changing any election results because Wisconsin law doesn't allow that. But what it does allow is these, these complaints to be filed so that the election official illegalities are corrected and they don't happen again. Eric Cardall, the Thomas More Society special counsel, says Kenosha's mayor and former city clerk didn't follow election law properly. So he decided to file a bribery complaint with the Wisconsin Elections Commission. They got to stop uh, taking directions from private parties who give them money to target neighborhoods to get out the vote. Kenosha is one of five cities that shared millions of dollars in grant money in 2020. It came from a group called the Center for Tech and Civic Life, which has ties to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Kenosha has to stop using illegal drop boxes. Uh, they knew what the law was before the 2020 election, and they took the uh, Center for Tech and Civic Life money and purchased the absolute ballot drop boxes and used them anyway. Earlier this month, the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled drop boxes will not be allowed during the upcoming April election. Cardall has filed similar complaints in Brown, Dane, Milwaukee, and Racine counties. In the past, a judge found nothing in state law to prohibit the cities being awarded the money. Now, one thing of note, the state Supreme Court is still weighing the legality of drop boxes. The state assembly today voted on a bill that would ban private grants to fund local elections. Now, Democrat Representative Mark Spritzer accused Republicans of obsessing over the 2020 election and making it harder for people to vote. Now, a representative for the city of Kenosha told me that it hasn't been given the complaint, so it can't comment on it. Reporting live in Kenosha, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 6 News. We'll see what comes of it. All right, Gabby, thanks.